been waiting here for half an hour. You've got your knighthood. How does yes. it feel? It feels absolutely marvellous. I feel absolutely great. I thought I'd finished all the interviews, but you're very pushy. I'm getting to. And Sorry. Be because I'm putty in your hands, I'm doing it with Sky. I'll do anything for Sky because one of my daughters works for Sky, so I've got to do this. <laughs> OK, so take as much time as all you right, like. All right, Sir Bruce, just tell me... We what... might finish on a song. OK, yes, okay so that's fine. Not? You can lead okay, on. Tell me, why what, not? What, what did Her Majesty say to you? Her Majesty asked me how, I, how long I'd been in show. She said, you've been entertaining us a long time. She said, well, how long? I said, well, uh, you know, uh, coming up next year, uh, I'll have been in show business 70 years, which did shock her. And then, um, then she said, well, when did you start? I said, when I was 14. That shocked her again. That I was... But in the war, you see, school children, you could leave when you were 14 years of age and go into making parachutes or things for the, uh, for, to help the war effort. Uh, but I, went, I didn't do any of that. I went straight into show business, worked around all the dumps that we had in this country, the lousy theatres that I trudged around, earning practically nothing. I think my first first week's work, I got 34 pence. <laughs> that was it. So it's been a long time, but it's been wonderful. This is the ultimate, and uh, hold it up for us. There we are. There, there it is. Okay, and it feels so great. Why did it take and so I'm long? I'm so grateful. Why did it take so long? I don't know. It's a, I think it's something to do with maybe light entertainment, uh, but I'm hoping that this will fall with. Uh, for people, I mean, people like the two Ronnies never got it, Morecambe and Wise never got it, uh, Frankie Howard, Tommy Cooper, you can go back. So why shouldn't Ronnie here, Jimmy Tarbuck, uh, Eric Sykes, all these people, I, I think they're worthy. And comedy is a, is a hard job, you know. It's not, uh, it's not like this sort of a building labourer, but we do have mental things that we have to put up with. And uh, trying to get a laugh is sometimes much harder than doing a straight line. Tell me, modern comedians... I thought you said it was going to be quick. It nearly is. Bear with me, I'm Irish, and you've, you've had a good a day so far. Could modern comedians, series, for goodness sake. Modern comedians, yeah. they use a lot of language and they're very edgy. Yes, well, you were a family man. Family man, this is why I still work. Although people complain about me, maybe, and say, you know, my, my, my jokes are a bit corny, maybe they, they think they're all... But I work on a family level. I always have done. For 70 years, I've worked on a family level, and I've always been that edgy and swearing, the, 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 the thing that goes on today. And you promised us a song. You promised us a song. No, I you said you could sing <laughs> <it. laughs> What should we sing? Sing, <laughs> just stroll. This Bruce Forsyth Sing an Irish news, one. <laughs> live at Buckingham Palace. Back to the studio. Right, you're a star. I feel like I should bow down. Right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>